Want to learn how to edit stunning time lapses using the replay mod? How about the easiest and most efficient methods to do so? Want all the money and happiness in the world? Well, I, I, I can't help you with that last one, but hey, you came to the right place for the other two. Hi everyone, Doolin here, and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we'll be talking about how to use and edit with the replay mod. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different of a tutorial than you're probably used to. It's going to be a lot uh, less heavily edited and me just kind of walking the process through with you guys in what my opinion is the easiest and most efficient way to do the replay mod. I will be using Replay Mod and Optifabric for 1.15.2. If you're curious on how to install either of those, there are videos linked in the description with pretty in-depth tutorials on how to do it. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. I'm in the main menu here because I wanna show you one thing right off the bat. If you go into Replay Viewer and Settings, there's an option to turn off your recording indicator. And you'll see that I have that selected. And I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, once we're in the world. So let's go ahead and create a new world here. Uh, let's call it uh, Subscribe to Doolin and uh, we'll hop right in. So as soon as we load into the world, the replay mod will start recording. Now, keep in mind that you don't have to start a new world, obviously, it just starts recording whenever you jump into a new area. So the replay mod is currently recording. If you don't shut off the indicator, you'll see a little red thing up here, a little red dot that says recording. And so uh, that'll let you know, but since I record with OBS and replay mod at the same time, I don't want them to see that. And so, um, you know, I have that shut off. But if you hit escape, you see right here, you have pause recording and stop recording, which means uh, that the recording is currently going on uh, because the only options given to you are to stop it. So now, since the replay mod is currently recording, uh, we can go through and just kind of uh, build a little house here or, you know, just something to make a time lapse out of. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that. So this is the house that we have right now, and that right there is an example as to why you would want to use the replay mod. If you have this first person, you know, really sped up time lapse kind of thing, it can look really weird and like it honestly kind of hurts the eyes a little bit. So when you put this into the replay mod afterwards, it'll look really nice. So now that this house is uh, pretty much done, again, don't don't judge me too harshly. This is just a tutorial on replay mod, not on how to build. Uh, but let's let's take this now and put it into the replay mod. So when you're done with that replay, feel free to save and exit out of the world or the server, and then you can find that footage at the replay viewer. Uh, you see right here, we've got our subscribe to Doolin. So we'll go ahead and hit load with that, and then I'll hit escape to pause so we can kind of get our bearings. You see, uh, this is where we loaded in, and then uh, this is over here where we started building. Uh, but I don't know how long I want the time lapse to be. So that's going to be the first thing that you're going to want to figure out. How long do I want this to be? So uh, because it's a time lapse, I'm going to go look for music. One channel I highly recommend checking out if you haven't heard of them already. They've been around for quite some time. No copyright sounds. It's where I get most of my music for my time lapses. Uh, I also make some of my own music on my other channels. So uh, feel free to check that out if, if you want. But uh, make sure that if you're using music for YouTube, just make sure that it's copyright free and no copyright sounds, obviously, as the name would imply, uh, doesn't have uh, copyrighted material and it sounds pretty good. So I tend to use those for my time lapses. So let's go and look for a song to use uh, for this time lapse. You kind of want to find something uh, that fits the vibe you're going for. So I'll usually spend a little bit of time doing that. Okay, I think we'll go with this one. Uh, because we don't have a lot of footage in our time lapse, I won't use the entire song, so I'm probably just gonna go up until the end of the drop uh, and then figure out what time that is. So it kind of ends around 125. Uh, that's kind of where you see a natural lull in the song, which would be cool to fade out with. And so we'll go for uh, a minute 25 for our time lapse. Okay, cool. Our time lapse is going to be a minute 25 seconds long. But what does that mean? How do we do that? Well, first things first, you want to uh, 
position yourself in um, where, where you want to start the time lapse. You can see me kind of going over there, figuring out a place to go. And then right here, I kind of figure out where I want to be and start building. So uh, I think I'm going to position myself like right here. And uh, if you want to see what it'll look like, hit F1 to hide that uh, timeline, because sometimes you forget that um, that'll affect you know, like there, there's all this open space up here that you don't normally see when you're editing. So keep that in mind, but I think we're gonna start here. So I'm gonna add my first position keyframe and my first time keyframe. And this replay starts at about 38 seconds. So I'll double click on this time keyframe and uh, give it about 35 seconds. Give it a few seconds to load the world in before the replay starts. Uh, but as far as the editing timeline goes, it'll be at the very beginning at zero, zero, zero. But we'll start, at 35 seconds into the actual recording. So we'll hit save, and then our timeline indicator is, uh, you can always double check that, double clicking, make sure that's also at zero, zero, zero. So this is kind of where we stop building here around uh, eight minutes in. So I can go into uh, 125, uh, which is where our time lapse is going to end. And we can see right here, 125 on this bottom one. And then we want this top one to end at eight minutes into the recording because that's when we finish building. So I'll hit save and you see we've got that right there now. Now what we have left to do is add in the position keyframes uh, in between here, you know, all the lovely uh, camera positions that show us where, uh, you know, we are in this time lapse uh, at that point. So let's go ahead and go back to the beginning at about 30 seconds here and just kind of scrub through and uh, see where uh, where's an interesting place to place our camera. So you see, we're kind of building right there. There's not a whole lot going on. So we can just kind of like uh, go, like maybe get a higher shot right here. And uh, uh, let's see, we'll go like 10 seconds and we can change this later. So don't worry about this if this doesn't line up exactly where you want it to be at that point. So we can just uh, put it there for now. And uh, I don't know, let's go like right here maybe, or actually let's do like, like one of these shots right here at about 20 seconds. And then uh, I know I work on the porch a little bit, so I'll do like a one here at 30 seconds and then like a, a far out shot, like right here, kind of like a wider shot uh, at 40 seconds, etc., etc. And now what we can do is we can go and fine tune it. So that's a little confusing, but let me walk you through it. So. You see us building right here. We're going super fast mode and we're building, we're building and our camera's about to start moving to a different position right here, which works because then we start uh, placing down the wood and uh, I'm building up the walls and all that stuff. Okay, so pause. You see right here, we're already working over here, but our camera is still over here. Uh, can't see anything that's going on. So what I can do is I'll take this and I'll move it to the left a little bit so we can get done with this camera angle faster. So now when we hit play, you see we get to that uh, camera position indicator a lot faster. So we start to move a little bit quicker to uh, across the house and then our camera will start to slow down again. And uh, you can see us building over here and then uh, we see us over here. So the camera goes around. I decide I don't actually like the foundation. I put in a porch instead using some barrels. I uh, decide to put in a little bit of a balcony and uh, you can still see everything that's going on. Uh, and then I start the roof as I'm zooming out. So that works. And now because we're doing the roof, I kind of need some more wide shots. So I'll probably uh, go out even further. And um, I don't know, this is probably not going to be too interesting. So we can go like maybe a full 15 seconds to get up to here while I'm building up the roof. But if I finish the roof before that, I can move the camera indicator. So let's check out this camera position right here. You see me building up the roof. I am starting to fly up, get a wider shot of uh, me building the roof here. And it's going pretty well. You know, you can see everything that's going on and see, I am still building the roof over here, but my camera stopped. So I'm actually going to take that indicator and move it over here. And then uh, I can move back like this to kind of get that shot of me feeling in uh, the bigger roof. Um, let's let's go like, yeah, up to a minute right here. Or, you know, we'll drag it out a little bit longer. Let's see how, how that looks. 
So we hit play. We're building up the roof. And uh, I'm actually going to right there. We finished the roof. Our indicator's right there. So I'll just simply take that and move it over there. So now our camera angle stops when we build the roof. So you see our camera's moving. And I finished the roof and the camera stops. So now what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm doing some window stuff, uh, which is a little bit faster. So I'll go like over here so I can see the window and I'll add in a little, little position keyframe. And then um, I know I do some stuff like over here, but let's just hit, let's just hit play. So I hit play over here. I do some window stuff and then I go over here and I do some stuff. So I'll move like here so I can see me doing both of that. And I'll like do that. And now we can fine tune it. So let's hit play on the bottom path and see what it looks like. So there's us finishing the roof. And then boom, we're right there to see us working on that. And then we move over here to see us working on that and working on that. And I'm going to move that position indicator a little bit further over. So I'm pretty much done building the house. So I might just do like a final like wide shot of the entire house. Or maybe I'll do like the front. So we'll do like one of these babies uh, to finish off at the final keyframe. So I'll double click on this position keyframe and just make sure that it lines up with my time keyframe. So the time lapse ends at 125. So I want this final shot to be at 125. And now we can scroll through and watch our entire replay. And there's the end of our time lapse. I think that looks really nice. Uh, obviously, if we want to fix anything, we can uh, you know, adjust these little timeline position indicators uh, wherever we see fit. But I think that looks good. So I'll go ahead and hit save. So right here, you can uh, mess with all of these different settings. Uh, First and foremost, I want to make sure that render name tags is unchecked. I'm not a big fan of seeing my name tag in the replay. And also sound doesn't get recorded. So if you hear like a lot of like placing block sounds, don't worry about that uh, in the editing process. So uh, when you hit save, you can uh, right here in the output file, I have my own area that I like to save it in, but I'll just save it in replay videos uh, for right now and I can rename it uh, how to use replay mod and I'll hit save. And then when I hit render, it'll start rendering uh, that time lapse that we just made. So to summarize, while this is rendering up, you go into a world, make sure you're recording after you're done building or whatever you are doing, you exit out of the world, go into replay viewer, and then you make a time indicator for when you want the replay to start and then you do a time indicator for when you want it to end, and then you can put position indicators all over. If you want to speed up a camera movement, move the indicator to the left. If you want to slow a camera angle down, move the position indicator to the right, and just do that until you find a replay that works for what you want to do. Are y'all ready for the best sound ever? Oh man, isn't that great? So now that the replay is done, you can hit close and navigate to your folder. So here we are in my dot Minecraft. Like I said, I have my own output directory uh, place that I like to put it, but I did save this one to replay videos and you can see our video is right there and it loads up and this is exactly what we recorded. Beautiful 60 FPS and uh, all that good stuff. Now all you got to do is throw it into your editing software. So now it's on to the editing process. I'm going to first drop this video a like, like you should like this video. And then I'll go into the description, click on free download and stream. And then uh, you can go hit free download. I've already done that. And I can drag it into our editing software. I use DaVinci Resolve. Uh, there's a free version and I absolutely love it. Uh, if you know, you're looking for an editing software, I highly recommend it. I've been pushing it out for years and I will continue to push it out for many, many more. So you can see right here, that's that natural lull I was talking about. And I'm actually going to go to like right here and I'll just cut off the rest of that. And then I'll just do like a little fade, um, to end up that, to end off that music. And I can do the same with this. I'll do a little fade. So when you end the replay, it goes. How beautiful was that? Now what you got to do is make sure that you cut out a few frames at the beginning, uh, because as you can see right there, we look like a little Steve. And so it takes a second for uh, those to 
load in so you can do that and then i like to fade in the music and fade in the video but that's just personal preference you don't have to do any of that and now you've got a full-on replay Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you've got any other questions about Replay Mod that I didn't cover, please feel free to leave it down in the comments and I will try my hardest to answer as many as I can. Check out the other videos in the description for more info on the Replay Mod and anything of the sort. But until next time, this is Doolin and I will see you later. Bye now. Running.